Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 59. Three string, bass, mick. Just got an order for a dude from Pit Pittsburgh, but Pennsylvania, where I was born and raised. Parents are divorced, so some in Virginia, some in Pennsylvania. So I'm getting ready to walk through the process of how am I going to do this? But before we get started, Mick, when he sent me a how you doing text, he had a cool shirt on, which reminded me of a great line with the signs of the times. Poisoning their brainwash minds. Oh Lord, yeah. Ba down to get down down. Poisoning their brainwash minds. Whatever could that mean here in the year of our Lord 2021? Dig it. Mick, he's going to be getting number 49. This will be the 49th guitar that I've fretted. Episode 59. I don't really know what that means. When I think about 59, I think about the Fender... Stratocaster with a 59 boat next. Steve Ray Vaughn played a Fender Strat. I believe his number one had a uh, 59 boat neck on it. Okay, are you watching Ted Nugent's Nuge Fire? Everything I'm not saying in this video, he's saying. <laughs> All right. He wants skulls. He had a black Sabbath shirt on. He's gonna turn me loose. Turn me loose. Turn me loose. He says that I can do it my way. Oh, no way at all. <laughs> these boxes, I was gonna go black, but these ones are all too small. Bass guitars have a longer scale length, 31 inch scale, which I've done a couple of. I prefer doing them in like a 26 inch scale for several technical reasons. So these are not gonna work. This up here is Black Box World. I might use these Java boxes. Have you seen my Awaken from Dormancy? Acme, Awaken from Dormancy builds. I built two matching Cigar Boss guitars for my dudes in Richmond, Virginia. Awakened from dormancy. Go back and watch that video. If you want to see some death metal on a Cigar Box guitar, check that one out. So for that, I used these boxes. Now if we give my dude a 26 inch scale length, um, if this represents our nut, here is 26. And you know, I'd rather not put the bridge right here on the edge. So see the 26 where my finger is? I like having that sort of like, sometimes I like to line it up where the hinge is, but there's no hinge on here. So let's say right about there. That gives you a good sort of like balance to the guitar. Now, if we do 31 inch scale, he goes like right here, like that. And that's gonna go all the way out here like this, which is still doable, I've done them like this before. Because sometimes you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. This is fun, it works, it's cigar boxing. So that could work. However, and skulls, but, I think I'm going to go, because the longest box that I have is these. The longest, deepest box that I have is these. These are sturdy, they're stout, they're built like tanks, and they're, um, pause. 
Buy them. <laughs> That's from Funky Fingers Productions. Clive Bell and Howard Tibbs III. So this was number one. Did you see my video yesterday? Or have you seen Mass Trigger's music? Have you seen Cigar Box Guitar, Mass Trigger's music? That one's based on number 22 of the 22 series. This is the number one of the 22 series. And this is a two string bass guitar. That is an Epiphone pickup in there. And this is called Aleph, for the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end. Number one, number 22. This was built on a post hole digger. You know, when you're digging post holes, <clears throat> you know, the people in the White House, certainly they dig ditches, right? Did I say that out loud? Certainly, certainly our government people in government dig ditches and they dig holes. Anyways, they use manual labor. You have two of these right here and there's like a shovel on the ends of them. That's where this right here was, was with a shovel. So you'd have two of these and you go, oh, bam, and you go, rah, and you go twist and you pick it up and you put it over and you go, wham. So I ordered one and from a place on eBay, I think Zorro, Z-O-R-O, -O, and they sent me the wrong thing. So I said, hey dude, you sent me the wrong thing. And so they gave me this for free. Yay, love stuff like that. So I ended up having to fix this. I did this, but I wanted the sinister action. So you see the little wedge? And I give it a little wedgie. So this is number one. This has got a lot of symbolism on the back here. This was from that stamp collection I got. Remember I told you the 1 through 22 series has a stamp of the Intercontinental Railroad. Of the trans... What did I say? Intercontinental? Okay, what world do I live on? Transcontinental across the USA, not intercontinental ballistic missiles. 150th anniversary. CBG, Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen. This is the Braveheart train. I just looked online. I don't even know what it, what, who it is, but it's a train called the Braveheart. If you watch any of my videos, you know I'm sort of a Braveheart fanatic. Lionel Trains. Does this generation even know what Lionel Trains are? I have mine under my bed right now. I didn't bring it out this year because I wasn't feeling real festive. And that's the first sticker of the series. So I did one through 22 in this box series. One through 22, Aleph and the Tav. My next series I'm at right now, I just did 50 with this logo, the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, with Mr. Fun Card Sauce. Mr. Fun Card, isn't that a hoot? My son, who plays bass, made that for me when he was like five years old. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So this is a two-string bass. I just bring this out because this is the same box style that I'm considering using with this scale right here, let's see what the scale was. This was, yeah, it's a 31. Oh, check this out too. I didn't even use a nut. I just measured it out. And right there where the strings come out, I used that as my launch point for my nut. And so I just drilled holes and I literally just put those in there. Aleph, ox, tension. Okay, this dude wants a three string bass. So, I'm either gonna use this one right here or this one right here. I love these boxes. These things, especially for bases, they, look how thick that wall is. That wall is like, come on now, Ken. I don't know, I'll have it in there. This wall is like, what, a quarter inch thick? Boom. So I'll probably use those for my dude from Pennsylvania. And let me put these and down 
right here, I have a couple prefab necks. zebra wood ones oh no I'm hooking this dude up all right so I have this one with the with the uh, the zebra wood I made one of these for my dude Dustin in Texas also made one for wild Mike and his guitar teacher Derek van Scotten Scoten Scoten he's gonna get he's gonna send me a hate email pronounce my name right bro cloud cord anyways so i have this pre-glued onto here to save me a step i might use that or i have this one look at this i don't know what happened did something shoot through my wood when i wasn't looking look at that i didn't even notice that even when i glued this fretboard on here so i have this 15 angle here cut and i glued a maple board on here what i'm doing with these is Staggering that, I'm doing the layer technique. So I do this, and then when I figure out what my scale length is, I'll cut my frets in here and glue this to here. And this just gives it a really clean, pretty, and strong look. But I don't know if this is going to go to 26. I think these long ones are the only ones. Oh, look at this one. This dude's going to get this one right here, bro. I don't even look at that. <laughs> Did you see that when I just put that on camera? Did you all go, ah! Buy them. <laughs> Look, sweet. Yeah, he's gonna get one of these. I'm hooking this dude up. All right, so I'm not gonna use this one. Here's other ones I pre. This one's a 19 inch scale, ready to go out the back door. This one's a 20 inch scale. This one is a 21 inch scale. This one is a 22.5 inch scale. But those are those are wrecked to go. But we're not going to use those ones. Put them back down here in neckland. Do you have a neckland? All right, let's put this back in here calmly. Okay, should I be doing this on camera? All right, we're going to go this one right here. This is just, both of these are sweet, but this one right here for this dude. This one just jumped off at me. Oh, she's straight too, boy. Love that. Oh, dude. All right. Mick, my man, you're going to get this. Either this on this. Oh, look at that, dude. It's going down today. All right. This on this or this on the light one. I might end up, um, I don't like staining these boxes like colors, but skulls, oh, you're going to get a skull in here, bro. All right. The box is roughly picked out. The net is roughly picked out. That's the reason why I'm roughly picking those out. Next, uh, um, all I'm doing right now quickly on camera is just laying out ideas. Also, basically, to see what I have in stock and what I need to order. Don't tell anybody, but I love ordering stuff. All right. I'm not going through... Uh, listen, did you watch my last couple of episodes? I'm not going through this again. I might... I, I don't know. I'm just going to order my pre-made harness from Kelling Sound. I'm hooking this dude up. You told me he's got a Rickenbacker and a, and a Fender? He's getting... I'm hooking this dude up. All right, so the only bass pickup I have is Biome, and I know that one's good. So I'll use this one. In here. This box, this neck, and I'm gonna order, actually I've already ordered two harnesses from Kelling Sound. 
my dude at Killing Sound, if you watch this, I'm telling you, I was very impressed by your work, bro. Okay, and then finally, finally, it has happened to me right in front of my face, and I just can't deny it. Tuners, show me what you're working with. Electrical. See, I got this stuff. Oh, let's see here. Oh, did I show you my pickup box? <laughs> uh-huh. Some think that Del Puckett and I are crazy. Time out, bro. Del Puckett update. Are you watching dailycrow.com for your local news sources? Matt Peterson. That's my dude. Daily Crow. Dailycrow.com it up. Did you know that they have actively begun making laser guns? Go check it out. You can see it. it the military complex is no joke. Remember Star Wars? We can't get into that right now, but they were just telling us on the, in, in the movies in the 70s, in the 60s, in the 50s, what they're going to do. Del Puckett update. He, as you know, he's out in the desert, but one of the things he's doing is he's hunting Sasquatch. Just what he does. Don't ask me why. Just what he does, dude. He builds world famous cigar box guitars. He's got a job. He's got some children. He's got a wife. He's got a cat. He's got a dog. He's my dude. He likes to hunt Sasquatch. But on today's Dell Puckett update, Dell's going to build himself a laser gun. Flack it. I'm telling you, he's going to go rooting out Squatch. A whole nest of them. Flack it, flack it, flack it. Hang them up. Crack it. Hack. Sure. Sasquatch fur jacket. Little holes in it. Little vest. Vest it up. Kind of like John Wayne. You know what I'm talking about? Wait till you see Del Puckett's new videos. He's coming. He's coming. He's going to get his hair off on fleek. He's going to have his beard. He's going to have like... He might, I might see if I can get him to actually take the teeth out of the Sasquatch and like make himself like a necklace. You know what I'm saying? Like a big Sasquatch. He'll have like these big molars. Rock it. Big claws. Okay, that's a Dell Puckett update. I asked before I was so rudely interrupted. Oh, I'm looking for tuners. Tuners. All right. I keep tuners in a little box so I know where it's located at called tuners you see in here oh do I have tuners in there oh I've got two and one so I'm not gonna give this guy no riffraff I do make you do make that that one right there is a two string bass so that's cool I am set up for another two string bass this is a big fender but precision based type. I got one of these. So I'm going to go basically now and look for tuners. And that's it. From that point forward now, also some JATs. You know these JATs? Did you see Brownie? This is number 13. Did you watch my video, Brownie? Where I dedicated this to the boss, the general, Dale Puckett. These are all the things that I learned from Dale. Right there. You can pause your video and check them out. Ain't got nothing but love for you, baby. Ain't got nothing but love for you, baby. I right, look, this was made on 127 2021 and I made it at actually 2 a.m. If you know anything about Poema, the song 2 a.m., oh, the rabbit trail goes deep. If you want this box, you got to watch Brownie. Hit me up. I was talking about JATs. This is the JAT glow in the dark because I spare no expense in my honoring of my dude. So, what we're going to do here is, got to pick up K 
tentatively picked out a monster. That's a King Kong pickup right there. That's gonna give this cigar box girth. I don't know, but we'll see. I might go look for some other pickups. Neck, layout, fretboard, box. It's going to be one of these two. Wham, wham, wham. I need to order. I need to order pickups. Why am I running? Why am I doing this? To assure you, I know how to spell. It's becoming a lost art. Pickups. Do you know I took my kids to the D, to the DMV, and they asked him to sign his name in cursive. He didn't know how to sign his name in cursive. It's because everyone's typing nowadays. I looked at my son like I failed you as a father, bro. You don't know how to cursive write your name. Pickups. I got one of those coming, bro. This guy's gonna be like, fine, bro. All right, so I'm gonna go to the computer, get all that set up, that set up. That's it, bro. That's this. That's this is the way I lay it out, slow and low. Now I got things to do. I got dinner to make, hummus to make. Oh, you don't think I'm really making hummus here in the kitchen, bro? Look, I soaked my beans last night, and I got them in the Instapot. Don't tell anybody, but I think this Instapot is actually. Never mind. I won't go there. Got my chickpeas ready to go. And I got my plane. So right now with this bass guitar order, three string bass. Yesterday, if you watched my video, I laid out the tracks for the new song coming up, hopefully, first of September. So I'm gonna give this a pause right now because that was just for me, for my intensive purposes letting this AI know that we're not down with that goofiness. Don't get me started. Can we keep it light? Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen at 17 minutes. Big ol' babble. They call me Motor Mouth. Mick, nice to meet you, bro. And I look forward to sharing this build online with other people. And what, what is today? Today is your Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, so I sh should have this ready to be listened to by Saturday. We'll see. Okay, Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen checking out. Dig, 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 down, 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 Generals gather in their masses, bound just like witches at black masses. 
Bow down for minds and thoughts destruction. Bow down. Evil minds and destruction. Throws the rear of death's construction in the fields of bodies burning. Bow down as the war machine keeps turning. Bow down. Uh, 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 you sing now. Uh, 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 I'll play the background. Poisoning their brainwashed minds. Oh Lord, yeah, bow down. Did you dig it? The Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen is not necessarily looking for subscribers and for likes. Just glad you stopped by to say hi.